park contains very strong language, aggressive behaviour, sexual scenes and references from the outset and throughout. Kebab. I'm starving. Where's Chloe and me kebab? Kebab. Can you hold that puppy? You're going to spill the food everywhere. Oh, if it's you, I'll stop complaining. You no, I'm in the back that? of the car, cold, hungry, starving, thirsty. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Got some kebabs, yeah? Thank you. Whoa, 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 what's the cream coat, man? Feeding time at the zoo, how? <laughs> That's me and Al. Oh, use that garlic, smells unreal. I've bought some pies now for us because I'm sick of Charlotte dragging us everywhere. So I've actually set something really cute up for us today. What? I've set something like, Chloe, put this in on your sat nav and drive us to that destination. Hurry then. Yous are going to die. Hurry it's then, the cutest thing. Go, <laughs> go, go, it's safe. Go. <laughs> what is in Donna Me? Who? It's not. Like, what is it? Is it lamb? It's lamb. Eyelashes. Is it really, though? Yeah. Can you make me a little wrap of um, a little bit of onion? Fucking a little bit of no kebab like, What left. you just had there, Charlotte? Lose him, a hungry woman. Fucking hell, don't offer to make me one, then. Good Go on. Big drive now, D. I'm exhausted. <laughs> the one thing that makes me sad about Jordy Shaw... What? When someone leaves... It's like, do you know what? It's really always like, really heartbreaking. It, it was sad when James left, I think. Because you didn't have a clue, did you? It was coming. No, we didn't have a clue, and it was just really sad. Right, well, I don't want this to spoil tonight, because I want to have a fucking mint time with everyone. But, you know, how it... <laughs> I've got a horrible feeling about this. I can see he can't even get his words out, and I know what we've been talking about. I just hope he's not going to say what I think he's going to say. I'm not that young daft lad I was when I moved in here, and I feel like my life has moved so much since I started all this. <sighs> I've made a decision that I need to move on to the next step. And for me to do that is to leave you. These people, I've spent so much time with them, I've lived with them, and to tell them that I can't do this anymore is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. The one that really got me in the feels that made me cry a lot was when, when, do you know when Marnie left? Because me and Marnie got really close that series. Yeah, Because I spent all my time sad, with her sad one. in Greece. Right, I just need you to all be strong for us because this is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. I know that we've been through some ups and downs, but I'm ready to start a new chapter of my life. And it kills us to see it. But it's time for us to go. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I cannot believe that Marnie's leaving. It feels like my heart has just been ripped out because I love Marnie more than anything in the world. And this time around, we really have gotten on just like sisters. But it's the right decision for me because I'm in love with someone. I'm so upset. <laughs> I've never felt this pain in my life. I don't want to stop crying. I'm literally heartbroken. <laughs> I feel like I've just been smacked around the face with an emotional brick. It fucking hurts. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Charlotte? Yeah? Were you sad when you left? Well, I... I didn't leave in the house, did I? No, but did I... Did it... Did you, did it like... It was very hard. It was very hard for us. To make the decision not to come back? Yeah. It was very hard. Jordy Shaw was my life. Yeah. It's still, I still hold so many fond memories. That's why I always say I'll go back for a, a reunion. Always, always, always kind of a turn back on it. Yeah. It was the best years of my life. And it was scary thinking, fuck, it's over.